Hi, here is the uh, video for how to program the mechanical meter uh, water softener. Uh, usually fitted to the Blue Line Super Compact and Nano water softeners. Okay, first thing we need to do is test the water. So we fill the bottle with uh, hard water and then we add tablets one at a time until the water turns blue. At first it will go red, so we put one tablet in. These are tablets in a bottle, but yours will be on a strip. It's exactly the same tablets. Drop it in there and give it a little shake. And it will dissolve. I'll just uh, pause it while this dissolves. And as you can see, it's starting to go pink already. Okay, well that tablet's dissolved now, or more or less dissolved. And the water's gone pink, so we, we need to put another tablet in because we're we're waiting for the water to turn blue to tell us how hard it is. Okay, put another tablet in, shake it up until it dissolves. Okay, that's the second tablet dissolved. We're still red. So we'll add another one. That's three tablets. Okay, that's that one dissolved. Add another one. Four. Still red, so we add another one. That's five. Still red. As you can see, with every additional tablet, the water goes a little darker colour. Okay, so that's six. And the water's changed from red to blue. Okay, you can see that's quite a distinctive colour change. So that's great. We now know it takes six tablets to turn the water blue. Okay, we now need to refer to our installation of programming instructions, which we've got here. Uh, mechanical meter programming. And here we have the chart. And it took six tablets to turn it blue, so follow the number six. And for this example, we'll say that there are four people in the house. So where the two lines cross, there's a four person column and that's six tablets. So that's telling us to set the capacity of the machine on 18. Okay, so that's 18 we need to set it at. Okay, so now we're looking at the fascia of the water softener controller. And on the right hand side here, we have this clear dial and we have numbers and we have the white dot on the outer ring right there. Okay, so what we need to do is line up 18 with the white dot on the outer ring, and I'll show you how we do that. We take hold of this little dial here, and you can see that it, it will pull forward. Okay, and when you pull it forward, you can then rotate it. Okay, and so we need to rotate it until number 18, which we've only got numbers 15 to 20, so we kind of have to guess a little bit but there you can see it's set on 18 okay so that's the the capacity now set on the machine the other thing that we have to set is the time which if you look here we've got a red button the red button that presses in when you press it in you can rotate this outer gear you see that my fingers running through the gear so we press the red button and we turn the outer gear until the correct time of day shows up uh, for example if we wanted to set it to 10 a.m 10 a there we go release the red button just turn the wheel and it will drop into place so we've now set the time at 10 o'clock in the morning which you need to set it for ever is the right time of day when you're doing it and that is programming complete Okay, thanks for watching.